All right, hello there everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna be looking at shapes and how to use them with the merge path. So let's begin. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a shape and I'm going to create a polygon like this. Then I will give it a fill, something like that. And then I'll bring the stroke down to zero. And then under here, I'm gonna go ahead and add another poly star, open this up, give it a few more points, something like that. And then we'll make it a little bit bigger. So we'll do this. And then after that, I will go ahead and I will create a circle. So an ellipse. And I will make this guy a little bit bigger as well. So something like that. Very good. And what I'm going to do here so that I can really see all of this is I'm going to bump the stroke up to something like this. So it looks like a sun almost with a polygon star in the back. Interesting. Now, what I'm going to do now is going to create a merge paths. So I'm going to select this here and notice that we have a few different options. We can select either add, which combines them all together like this. We can press merge, which does this. We have subtract, which has now cut out the outside of it and has cut out the inside. We have intersect. It does that and we have exclude intersections. So with the merge pass, it basically gives you a few different options on how you want your shapes to be blended. And we can add multiple merge paths. So if I wanted to add another one, right here, I could do that. And then I could bring this guy right up here. And now it's only gonna affect the polystar path one and the polystar path two. So everything above a merge path is going to be affected and everything beneath it will not be affected. And for this guy here, I'm gonna set him to be subtract. So this is what we have. So that's a little bit about how the merge path works. Now I wanna show you guys something else as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these here. So we have this as our shape and everything inside. Now if I go ahead and I create a merge paths in the contents right here, Notice what happens. It created a stroke and a fill. That is because the merge path needs a stroke and a fill to actually work. It's like a shape in that sense. And if I wanted to make changes to this, I could just set this to maybe intersect and you have this. So that's something that you can play around with. But what I really wanted to show you guys here is that when you create a merge path in your contents, it creates a stroke and a fill as well. So that's a little bit about how the merge path works. Now, if you enjoyed this video on the merge path and you want to learn more about After Effects or filmmaking, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell so that you get notifications to all of our newest videos. And we will see you on the next one. Until next time.